What up, everyone? So here it is. Look at this. New sweatshirt, powerhouse gym. That's where I live, Jackson. Uh, let me fix this a little bit here. Got the wine on the walls here. Which I, I don't know if I've told you guys, but I have actually been starting to drink wine again. Not every day, but like once in a while I'll have a glass. It's pretty good. I don't normally like the sweeter wines. Got to go a little bit drier now because of the sugar content and stuff. But anyways... So this is actually an extra large. I look a little bit bigger in the camera. I don't know why, but it's actually an extra large. Normally I wear double X's. So proud to say I'm one size down now. I'm pretty happy about that. So what do we got here? Got another passage to read to you guys. Once it's done, that's going to be it. I got nothing else to say about that. So haven't jumped on the scale in a while. Um, but I really don't want to for the fact that it's... Um, that I cheated a couple times this week, so I'm kind of worried about that, but that's all right. I was able to, um, I ran for about seven minutes today and then walked the rest to add up to 30 minutes all together. Got a really good workout in today after work. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this without my glasses. I went all day without my glasses. Might as well keep going. So, um, I don't know. That's pretty much it. So, little um, nine-hour day at work and um, so I'm gonna read this to you guys really think about this I would advise if you're really looking for some motivation inspiration this is my best thing yet I've had three people look over it my coach looked over it. my two co-workers I I hold close to me my only probably two co-workers that I hold close to me uh, they looked at it for me they think it's really good so if you're looking for some good inspirational motivation right here, it's going to be good. So it's four pages. It is a little bit long, but I really started thinking about some good things today, and I had to write them down for you guys. So with that being said, we go ahead and get right into this. When it's done, I'm going to leave off what's left. What's the end of it is what I'm going to leave off with. So that's it, guys. Here we go. So what I want over what I had. Now, thinking of that title... This isn't about how I grew up. This isn't about if I was a poor kid or not. I can guarantee you our, our family was in no way rich growing up, but we weren't poor either. My parents worked their asses off to put food on the table every night. To be able to do things with us, to have fun with us. But this is not about that. This poem is not about that. This title of this poem, the story, the passage, this message I'm trying to deliver. It is simply this. It's about what I had versus what I want for my life going forward. I was not always a motivational person, not always an inspirational person. I was always constantly depressed. I had lots of deaths in my family and my best friend literally died in my arms. Past relationships failed, I lost friends when I needed them the most, but I finally, I finally picked up myself, I picked, finally picked myself up out of that negative mind. I started. I finally start, I finally stopped hating myself, and I started, and started, and started the grind for a better life for myself. I'm still learning. I'm still teaching, training my mind to stay positive. Keep pushing, pushing. Pushing forward. Second page. Quit looking back. And why And why keep it all to myself? So I started the vlogs. I started sharing. Showing how I'm moving myself forward. How I'm accomplishing goals. Accomplishing tasks. And being successful. How you, how you guys can too move forward. How you too can push hard. Get those ultimate feelings back of positivity. Or for the first time in forever, feel the warmth of God. If you believe, if you're a believer, feel the embrace of love, angels, passion, the drive to motivate yourself and inspire new people, to inspire anyone and everyone that would listen. My goals for my future is by this time next year, I want to be ripped. I want someone, I want a somewhat sculpted body. I want to finally have abs. I want to lose that hibernating stomach that remains. I want to inspire more people, inspire them that... You don't have to be great to be great. What do I mean by that? It's simply stated in that line. You don't have to be great to be great. You don't have to be famous to get that message across. But you do have to work. You, you do have to work. And you must work hard. You must get past that laziness. You must stop hitting the snooze button. You must tap into that mindset that tells you this is... This, 
This doesn't feel good and push through it. You got to push through that. All right, third page. Screw that mindset. Not screw the positive. Screw that negative mindset. Move forward. Burn through the struggle. Burn through that grind. The struggles are real. I've said this many times. It kind of rhymed. But it's those struggles that will empower. Empower you to achieve goals you never thought you were capable of. It's those struggles that will make you successful. It will make you give yourself daily goals, weekly goals. You will begin a better life for yourself every year, every week, every day, every minute, every damn second of the day. Only you and you alone can change your situation. Don't blame it on anyone or anything. That was said by Leonardo DiCaprio. Les Brown said this. You must tell yourself, no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I'm going to make it. Lance Armstrong said this, Pain is temporary. It may last a minute. It may last an hour or a day or a year, but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. But if you quit, if I quit, however, that lasts forever. Dwayne The Rock Johnson said this, I like to use the hard times of my past to motivate me today. David Paris said this, Remember, it only takes two things, two parts of your body to keep moving forward, your mind and your heart. Fourth page, last page, guys. It's you and you only out there. Don't give reasons of why you are the way you are. Don't give, up, give yourself crutches. Don't tell yourself you can't do things. Give yourself reasons of why you can. Stop stopping. Become a better person today. Stay positive, stay motivated, stay inspired. Surround yourself by only good people. There's my cat, sorry. If you have negative people surrounding you, lose them. Lose them. They are not what you need. If they are family members, just turn your try to turn your mind to something positive. People will try constantly to drown you, but you must climb out of that depression. You gotta claw your way to your top. You must dig hard and you gotta run fast. The only reason people will be negative toward you is because they are jealous of you. They see what you have, want they see what you have what you are trying to accomplish, and they want it. They want it bad. So, so they will try to break you down. The hell with them. The hell with all of them. It's you. You know what you want. I know what I want. I know what I want. I, I know what I want. You know what you want. Punch that shit right in, the, right in their face. Punch all their crappy ideas. Punch right in the face and grind forward. Last thing off with this. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the man, my, my guy that I'm inspired by. Arnold Schwarzenegger said this. You can have results or excuses. You cannot have both. Once again, you can have results or excuses, but you cannot have both. See you guys.